<laughs> yeah. So what's on your mind, Fog? Right now... <laughs> right now I'm reading about different programs comparing to GarageBand. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. What, um... I get into, like, a little bit of a... A whole... I don't even use GarageBand that much. I'm in, like, a little, like, bit of a spiral right now. Yeah. What what programs is it comparing? Logic is the main one that I'm trying to figure out because like Logic is just like the more expensive like the 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 paid version of GarageBand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing like what actually because that's normally what I use. Like, there was like a six student discount and all that. Right. I'm trying to see like what actually I got because of that that I wouldn't have already had. Yeah, I've so I've never used Logic. But I've only I've seen like the display and everything, and every time I see it, I think it's GarageBand, because it is. I mean, like you said, it's the paid version of GarageBand. But I like I don't know what's different about it. I know in like the couple times that I've opened it or seen you opening that kind of thing, some of the like the functionality of a lot of things is the same but it's just a little bit easier to do it the way that we would want to in logic like okay you know like there's, a, there's like that like gray arrow thing that you can pull all the way back you can <laughs> yeah. get longer and all that like it just like doesn't bother with bother with that in logic okay it just like cuts it off at the like when yeah it's like it gives over. you like a default like unlimited length thing and all that yeah okay um, but then, like, let's see. Actually, I'm gonna look up traction. What's going on there? Yeah. What, what, what kind thought, of traction? I've called? honestly. Ah, oh, darn it. I just messed something up in Isaac, but that's alright. Um,. I always, I mean, I always thought traction was, like, I've always enjoyed using it. Not that I've used it as extensively as Ribs has, but in the, you know, times that I've been at his house and used it. I, I don't know if I'd say that I liked it better than GarageBand, but it's it was definitely like a breath of fresh air. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, traction seemed like a... It always seemed to me like it was pretty kind of similar to Pro Tools, like more in that style than like a GarageBand or Logic, and that yeah. it's more like, I guess, technical or whatever. You know, it doesn't, right. like Robbie was saying, like it doesn't snap to like quarter of a second, like timing type things. Um, yeah, yeah. Pro Tools, I'm like a Pro Tools beast now. And I don't yeah. even like it. But it's just like they like to drill it <laughs> like all the shortcuts and everything. Right. Yeah. That's awesome though. You said J Bo's on his way home. I think so, because he was saying earlier today he was like begging you to come over for whatever reason. And then I was like, oh, I yeah. think I'm gonna weekend and he said I'm gonna I'm not gonna be here. So I assumed right. that urgency to have you come was that he was leaving in like an hour. <laughs> that would be awesome if, that would be awesome if I agreed to come. <laughs> it takes me an hour and a half to drive there and then he's not even there when I get there. <laughs> that would be great. Be a yeah, well, I think I think Matt Tass is up there tonight to see like Joey and Colin and Reggie. Interesting. Has Has UConn had any shutdown stuff yet? Yeah, I think they're done. <laughs> or well, uh, I'm not. I'm actually not sure because I, I won't. I won't name who it is. Um, so that we don't have this documented because he said he didn't hear it from me. But someone I know... Actually, I don't even know how they got a hold of this information because it's not like their parents work 
with UConn or anything, but they said they said something like rumor is UConn's gonna be announcing that they're closed tomorrow, but you didn't hear it from me or something like that. You know what I mean? Interesting. And so I don't know where he got that information, why he doesn't want people to know that he has it, but but yeah, so then in my head I, I was like, okay, so they're closed, but I don't know if they ever even did officially announce it. It makes sense. Like, it's probably going to happen. It seems yeah, like I mean, like, every, every other school is, in, the, yeah. in the this side of the country. Actually, I don't even know, or like, I mean, California's in a state of emergency. I assume California's schools are closing too, but I haven't yeah, I know. Yeah, I saw um, Jordan Jordan line Berkeley yeah. got shut down. Okay, you yeah. Saying something about that. Right. So, yeah, yeah it's, it ins- it's insane how quickly it happened too. Yeah, it came out of nowhere. I know Columbia <laughs> shut down. I think Harvard is as well. Right. That's awesome. NYU right now is just. It's officially shut down until the week after spring break. But we just got an email today where the guy, or our president, was like, don't, like, don't plan on showing back up to classes until April 19th. But we theoretically might. So I just assume that means we're probably not going to get back this semester. Yeah, well, that's what, I mean, in my mind, that that's kind of... That's that's how I expected most schools to go, like shut down for a few weeks. But um, most schools that I've been hearing about in my school, like we sh- we're just done for good for the semester. Yeah, that's that's very presumptuous. Like, yeah, I don't necessarily I actually, see like, how we would get better in only a couple months since we're so far into the semester already. But that's like that's a big call to make. Yeah, I agree. And actually, now that now that I'm thinking about it, I just realized like maybe the reasoning behind it is like they're trying to get people to move out. Like they 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 basically like kicked everyone off campus. And right. so, I guess the reasoning behind moving everything online for the rest of the semester is mostly just that. Um, well, one like for these next few weeks, you'd want to be shut down anyway. But also, if we're shut down for the whole semester, we can get people to move out now, which yeah. makes even in the short term it makes it a lot easier to uh like make sure there's less interaction and spreading of anything you know what i mean whereas if they only shut down for a few weeks people wouldn't move out people would hang around and then it's basically like you didn't even shut down to begin with that'd be sick if because like half of nyu is international so it'd be kind of sick if like they all left for spring break and then came back the week after spring break just for NYU to finally announce that the school was shutting down for the rest of the semester. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, I just see in the email a little section that says international students just like don't come back, like don't even bother. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the road, Jack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I wish you guys could see the my Isaac game right now. It's very. Um, well, it's very risky, but also in the middle of that sentence, I just got something that makes it significantly less risky. <laughs> but what was up with that like absurd glitch thing you did with all the treasure chests the other day? I keep thinking oh, about so... it. <laughs> really, I didn't realize that would stick with you. <laughs> um, so that. That was, there's, um, so there's this, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. So basically there's like a space bar item you can get. It's called blank card. And what it does is if you're holding a, a card, um, 
which, which is just, I mean, you've played Isaac once or twice before, right? So like, yeah. you know, how the, the cards are just like, you can pick them up and you can use them once and they, they each have like a unique effect or whatever. And so the blank card, um, the blank card item, what it does is if you're holding a card and you use the spacebar item, it essentially, it, it gives you the effect of the card without actually using the card. So what that means is like, if you have, like, for example, right now I have the death card. And what that does is it damages, um, like every enemy in the room. So if I had blank card and I'm holding the death card and I use it, it'll damage every enemy in the room, but I'll still have the blank card item it just has to recharge and I'll still have the death card so I can essentially use it as many times as I want. Like with, within reason, like you have to wait a couple rooms for it to recharge to use it. But so what happened there was I had um, blank card and an item. It's called the Yera rune, and what it does is it just like doubles every item in the room. Mm -hmm. So basically, what happened was I had blank card, and I had Yera, and I also somehow got a battery in the room that I wanted it to be in and so what happened was I used blank card it duplicates all the items in the room and also duplicates the battery so I can pick up the battery and it recharges blank card so you can just kind of do it over and over and over again mm -hmm. and essentially just get um get as many items as you want because I mean the whole thing is dependent on the fact that when you get to the last floor of the game um chests contain items which isn't like for all the other floors you find a chest and it'll just have like coins or bombs or keys or whatever in it but when you get to the last floor they contain items so basically the strategy is if you find yourself in that kind of situation you you have blank card and yera you you wait until the last floor and then you just like duplicate all of the chests and then you get like every item in the game and it just it's just fun but it also breaks the game, which is, you know, like annoying sometimes. You just gotta know your limits, I guess. I just found out that, so I was looking up um, like Newtown High School to see if they're like shut down. And what oh, yeah, came they up are. first was that, uh, was like another Newtown High School in the same area of Queens that I live in. <laughs> which is like kind of sick by itself. But yeah. I also, I talked to Damien the other day and it turns out that he went, he told me that he went to like, he said grade school um, in the area that I live in. So it's like potentially very <laughs> likely that Damien went to high school at Newtown High School. <laughs> Which like the the sick. one, the city one, right? Yeah, yeah. That would be yeah. great if you went to Health. our oh. Newtown High School. <laughs> oh man, on the the CT website, it looks like uh, it says that the jazz band like UNH festival thing that we used to go to no. canceled. <laughs> no way. Yeah, that's awesome. That was the most fun thing in the world. I remember going to Berkeley was sick. When we got to hang out with Joey and left, which was like a huge no-no. <laughs> yeah, we Berkeley. just left in the middle of the day and found <laughs> Joey. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun. I remember walking into his room and... Um, and just, sorry, I'm, I'm thinking about what I'm doing in Isaac while I'm talking. But um, I remember walking into his room and just like on his wall, he had, you know, like pictures of naked women. <laughs> just like, just kind of like a, I don't know, like a stereotypical like 90s college kid. You yeah. know what I mean? And I remember as soon as I walked in, I was like, oh yeah, this is, abs this is Joey Whalen's room. <laughs> There's nothing else it could like, a light-up poster, too. Like, like a really, like, extravagant... Yeah. Reason. I have to listen to his new song. I was gonna... I was gonna bring that up. He just came out with, like, a... Was it... I think it's an album. 
or was it an EP? I'm not sure. But he came oh, out with a bunch of. Better. I think he just came out with a whole new thing. I remember someone sent me like a screenshot of the Spotify thing, but I never listened to it. All right, Bog, what are you thinking? Should I do um, the starter deck or the humbling bundle? I would go starter deck. So that makes me think of Yu-Gi-Oh. Hmm. Okay. Sure. It was definitely. I mean, I know. I know you don't know what either of those items are. So I just <laughs> want to. Inf- I, w- I just want to inform you that I would have done the opposite. But I went with your advice, and we'll see how it pans out. I have a pretty consistent track record so far of choosing the the one that you yeah this is really interesting because i don't know what any of them are yeah <laughs> joey's new song is sick really no <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't even know what I don't even know what kind of music he makes. He makes like um, basically just pop. But I think I remember he told me a while ago he's kind of thinking like John Mayer type of thing. Uh, um, he should talk to Joe. Yeah. Hey guys. Yeah, Joey's. A, I wonder has he graduated yet? I don't even know. Joey, he yeah, I think he graduated last year. That's uh... Oh yeah, that would make sense. That's weird. That's 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 wild. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually. What what do you think he's what do you think he's doing? Guess he's just keeping it up with the music thing. Uh, well, looks like this picture that he uses the cover it looks like it's in his house in Connecticut. So oh yeah. Up. Hi there. <laughs> what? It is like Instagram post where he has the cover of it and it's like this girl sitting on him and there's like <laughs> yeah, yeah, pink like blurry all over the edges and everything like that. Yeah. I was looking at it and I saw in the comments of Matt Tess said arguably the worst cover art I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Brutality. I did. I mean, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to bring it up because I didn't. I didn't really want to document me, uh, <laughs> you know, bashing Joey's cover art. But that that's that's exactly what I thought when I saw it. <laughs> I just. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I feel like he could have done something. Well, I don't know. He he did something I wouldn't have done, but I guess because like I guess his whole thing is he wants to. Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. You know how, like, some artists, they kind of, like, build their artistry around, like, their identity, you know what I mean? As opposed to, like, making up a band name and, like, you know what I mean? And and I feel like he's very, very much going for that kind of, like, he's centralizing his music around him. Right. Which which isn't, like, I don't think there's... I don't think it's good or bad. It's just me personally. If I'm like doing music stuff, I like to do it under some kind of pseudonym instead of like just writing Ben Riley. Yeah, no, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't really know where I fall in that yet because I'm, I'm kind of like for yeah, my just... my thing that I'm working on. Like it's probably going to be under Bogdan, but yeah, I also like. I definitely see myself being on the Joey end as well of just using like my personality or whatever and being like very you know pictures of myself that kind of thing yeah but I also think Bogdolin is a sick name <laughs> yeah Barry Bogdolin Barry Bogdolin
How's Isaac working out? It's good. I think I'm gonna, um, like I, I'm very confident I'm gonna win this this one, which is good because I'm trying to build a streak. Um, and also it's like the hardest character, so it's not like like there are some characters I can play as where like unless something goes horribly wrong, it like it's basically like I know I'm gonna win just by picking that character. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas whereas with the loss, it's like. I mean, it's literally the, like the exact opposite. Like it's the hardest character in the game, so you have to, you kind of have to, um, just like really try if you're gonna win. I mean, most of the time, like sometimes you get really lucky and you just steamroll everything. But um, but yeah, we're in a good spot. You know, I've been craving. I've been craving like so many eggs recently. Yeah, what's up with that? That like I don't know. Damn, like, you talking about eggs and like Josh make that video. Like, it makes me want to puke. Oh, you don't like eggs? I don't. I think I think they smell bad. And they look weird. <laughs> yeah, they smell kind of funny. I like the texture though, and I like the. I don't know. I, I can't even really describe it. I just like the way they feel in my stomach. You know what I mean? Interesting. Just like they're they're just kind of like I don't know. I haven't really thought about it, so I'm trying to think about how I want to phrase this. But it's just like when I eat like a a bunch of eggs, I just feel good. Like I just feel, I guess, energized in a way. Maybe I'm just not eating enough. Just, just had to force feed myself like eight eggs in one day. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I'm I'm the opposite. I I need to slow down a little bit. I only ever get them at the general store. I think it's the only place I ever get eggs. I don't I don't think I've ever. You mean like on a like on a breakfast sandwich type? Yeah. Thing? I don't think I've ever had a breakfast sandwich from the general store. Which I know is like sacrilege, like that's like, that's like the thing to get. But I don't know. Like I make my own, like egg breakfast sandwich type things all the time. But I don't know. Why did Josh microwave eggs? I have no. So he, I I asked him about that once too because he was talking about doing it, and I was like, what the hell? And he said, yeah, I thought it was weird at first, too, but I was at, um, where was he? I think he was, he, had, he like, slept over at Henry Primavera's house once when they were in, like, sixth grade or something like that. And, um, I guess his mom, like, in the morning, you, you know, the classic suburban sleepover thing is you sleep over at your friend's house and then their parents make you, like, a nice big breakfast in the morning. And so what, I guess what Mrs. Primavera did was um, just like whip up a bunch of eggs and then microwave them. And so now he just, he just does that. I don't know. 
I've never tried it, but part where John, like right right before he puts it in the microwave, John says something like, "Don't use the stove." Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and, and yeah, Josh goes, goes, oh, goes no, 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 I was going to put it in the microwave. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I love when he's cracking it open with one hand. <laughs> and he just has yeah, to and then, and then... down for a while. Yeah. God, you see him like put his Black. thumb through the egg. <laughs> just yeah, try to mess it up. It's awesome. Yeah, that whole video was incredible. Just really surreal. Okay. Yep. So I hated, like in that video, what he does is he, and you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to judge how one man makes his eggs, you know, I think that everyone should have a right to <laughs> massacre their eggs in whatever way they, <laughs> they prefer, but, but he, he like, so he took one egg, he put it in a bowl, and then he like mixed it up with like a fork, but he didn't. Like, he was, like, scraping the bowl the whole time yeah. with, like, the prongs of the fork. And it was like, what are you, do what are you doing? Like, how is that? Why? What are you the doing? horrific and noise. So it was making this awful noise. And that, that was, like, the first, you know, strike in my book. But then what he did was he, so he has this scrambled egg. And also, I don't know if you noticed this, but I, I was a little, I found it a little unsettling with the color of the egg. It was like a neon yellow. It was, it was like like I'd never seen an egg that color before. But he, so you know, he's whipping up his egg, and then he takes out the hot sauce, and he just puts hot sauce in like the raw scrambled egg, and then mixes it in even more before microwaving it. Like when he took the hot sauce out, I thought he was just gonna like microwave the egg, and then like top it off with some hot sauce as just like a condiment. I didn't realize that the hot sauce was like a like a central part of this yeah. mixture he was making to put in the microwave. Is it like... I'm just trying to think also... Does microwaving the egg make it safe to eat? Because it's... Like, does microwaving it make it not become raw? Like, is it actually... I don't know how microwaves work. Like, is it actually... Well, it... it in a way that yeah, well, it... it so hang on, but... Before I talk about that uh devil deal or angel room which one should i choose <laughs> of course uh yeah so the microwave does is it i mean it what like what it literally does physically is it has like so water molecules are kind of have you ever seen how a water molecule is like bent like it's yeah. h2o so it's got two h's and an o but it's yeah, not like they're out, not yeah. in a line yeah it's just kind of like a you know what i'm talking about where it's like a v yeah. they're kind of like that so then what happens with that is it gives it something called a, a a magnetic moment which is essentially just like just the way the electrons are distributed across the molecule it has just this property where, and basically you can what a microwave does is it uh, sh like shoots wave at it, waves at the water molecules, and and because of this property that they have, it it essentially just makes the molecules rotate. And so what that does is it like heat is essentially just stuff moving in the material. You know what I mean? Like have you ever heard that uh -huh. like like the the temperature of something is like the the amount of kinetic energy, like how much the molecules yeah. are moving in it. So right. basically what you do in a microwave is you you um, just shoot a bunch of microwaves at the water molecules and then 
it makes them spin a bunch and so they have much more energy and so everything just heats up so then in an egg i imagine what happens is you have all the the water in the egg and then you know the microwave spins in and heats it up and i think in heating it up the Uh, hang on, my headphones died. I'm just gonna get <laughs> a pair of headphones. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I saying? talking about microwaves yeah so so it'll like heat up i i th basically the end of the story is in my opinion and i'm by no means an expert on this but i think it should be safe to eat because like you're heating up the water in the egg and so that like heats up the whole egg and it if it's heated up to a point where it's like you know the egg is actually coagulating and like i, I don't know scientifically what that's doing like the 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 proteins are denatured or whatever. Like, I think if you're at the point where it, it has been heated up enough that it's become a solid, I think you're probably, like, safe to eat it, you know? That's awesome. I wish I knew more about food science, though. Because they do have, like, um... Because you can cook stuff without, like, even heating it up, you know what I mean? Like, have you ever had, um, like, they cook fish in lemon juice sometimes? Like, so, so yeah. they don't even heat it up, they just, like, let it bathe in lemon juice, and what it does is the, right. the citric acid and the lemon juice, like, degrades the proteins or denatures the proteins, and so it's essentially the same thing as if you applied heat to it, because the the proteins break apart in the same way and so you can like cook fish without even heating it up yeah that's awesome I wonder what Rob you would taste like cooked in lemon juice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You know, I was I was thinking about I mean I wasn't thinking about eating Robbie the other day. At uh -huh. least not to a not any more than usual. But he um I was with I was with Kosh and Tass the other day. And they were talking about um, like their favorite meats, and Kosh was talking. They they were talking about how like chipmunk is really good, and how like squirrel is really good. And I was thinking about how there's so many different meats that are allegedly really good that I've never even thought about. Like I've never thought about eating a chipmunk. <laughs> right. But yeah, I guess we can add Robbie to that list. I was telling... I was at work and I was telling some people... I was talking about how like a couple of my friends had like eating a chipmunk once. And, like went out into the woods to make that happen. I was like telling this story and I was just like, oh, it's just kind of like a funny thing. Because I think we were like loosely talking about things in high school that were like... Or not even... I don't think that was during high school, but just, yeah, just like dumb things doing around like rural areas and that kind of thing and yeah so i just thought that was like a pretty like natural fit for the conversation and when i finished like everyone was just kind of like what and then, like <laughs> damien like took off his headphones and normally he's not paying attention he took off his headphones and he goes isn't that the kind of thing that like like serial killers do <laughs> <laughs> like, oh well i i mean he he, he He's an Eagle Scout, and then everyone instantly was like, oh, okay. 
like absurd. Like. <laughs> oh, okay. That's hilarious. That's crazy how much that changed their mind. Yeah, it's really strange. I don't think that's what serial killers do, right? That's just kind of... I mean, serial killers, one of the, like, early warning signs is that you torture animals. Yeah. I, I mean, it's not like they... Obviously, they weren't torturing the animals. Like, they, they know how to hunt. I'm sure they... Right killed it quickly I mean I'm sure there are still people who would frown upon that yeah. but um but I, I don't think I don't think it's necessarily psychopath behavior Is that Josh? No. <laughs> oh, you, re you really sounded like him. <laughs> yeah. You said multi bears, right? I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think those words would come out of anyone's mouth but his. Devil or angel? Um, hmm. I don't know. Love always wins when you're up against the devil, so I'm gonna go angel. <laughs> sure. Oh, that was actually a, uh, a a pretty okay choice. Sick. And seven? Wait, what? <clears throat> I'm just, I, I just keep messing up in Isaac. Traction seven looks brutal. How so? I don't know. I just looked at one picture of it on their website and it's like dark mode. Yeah. It looks sick. Is it the new is seven the newest version? Looks like it, yeah. Traction's free, right? Yeah. And this is actually like I'm looking at this now and like it looks like really high quality and like sick. Like I'm I'm surprised that like I don't think I've ever really heard anyone talk about it besides ribs. Mm-hmm. 
but it seems this seems like a pretty legit one. Is that the mulch melody? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have that in my head like 23-7. <laughs> yeah, I've only, I mean, I've only ever heard it like twice. But I'm able to recognize it every time one of you is humming it. One time I sang it, I was singing it in front of Josh, and he didn't recognize it. it <laughs> really? really he was like, didn't he write it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was That's like, amazing. well, wait, I, I think this is like was your melody at least like a year ago. And then I sang it for him again. He was like, oh, yeah, I think that's still part of it. And I was like, no, like, I think it, I think that is it. <laughs> like, I think that's what you spins. <laughs> Yeah. I don't even know what else to eat though, aside from eggs. Indian food? Yeah, I don't know if there's any Indian places open right now though. Get on it. <laughs> I've had Indian food for nine days straight. I just did the crunch. Really? Yeah, it's awesome. That's the life. Indian food and peanut butter sandwiches. I have the most brutal diet in history. Do you, you only put peanut butter on it? Nothing else? If you put peanut butter on it, and then I have an apple to the side of it. Okay, sure. That sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Are you still... I used to really like doing, um, I would do like peanut butter banana sandwiches and yeah, put right. like just a little bit of cinnamon on it. And I always got weird looks for doing that, but I, I thought it was a good, um, you know, flavor profile. That's interesting. I've never heard of that. I just, I don't know. I went through a phase, I guess I'm still going through that phase, but where I just kind of put cinnamon in everything that I'm eating. Just I think just because I, I read one time that it's like good for your blood sugar or something like that. That's awesome. And I think, I mean, I think you only need like a tiny bit for it to like regulate your blood sugar. So I started putting it, I mean, I mostly put it in for flavor, but every once in a while, if I wasn't feeling like eating cinnamon, I would, I would still put like a dash in so that I couldn't even really taste it, but it was still there. 
Mm-hmm. Not that not that I'm like particularly conscious of my blood sugar, but just figured why not. Blood sugar is awesome. Yeah, it's the best kind of sugar, honestly. I've somehow never had blood sugar issues in my entire life, or like blood pressure or anything. Despite yeah, well, I mean, one of the most fluctuating like weights in like history. Yeah, I mean, you, I think, like you're, you're still young. You know what I mean? Like even, even with your weight fluctuating and whatnot, I think. I guess I, I guess I'd, I'd be surprised if you did have like blood pressure issues. You know what I mean? Yeah. Man, I wish you could see this Isaac run. It's actually like really cool. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, well, I just won the Isaac run, so I think I'm gonna... The hell? And... That's awesome. <laughs>